Hi guys, welcome back to Ash Heart Books. So today I'm going to be talking about my TBR for the Historical Romance Readathon. So this readathon is going to be hosted by three lovely ladies. It's going to be hosted by Peace Love Books, Remarkably Lisa, and Lacey Book Lovers here on Booktube. I was so excited to hear about this readathon because you guys know how much I love a historical romance and I don't think there's really been one. There might have been one in the past, like I'm not sure. But I was just really excited to kind of show some historical romance love here on the booktube. So I'm going to do my best to participate. Um, I, if you don't know, if you're kind of new around here, I am not very good at readathons. I'm just not that good at sticking to a TBR. Um, but I'm so excited about this and I want to give some more love to the historical romance. So I'm going to make a TBR and I picked out five books that kind of fill out the bingo board. So there is a bingo board if you are interested in participating. Um, I think all the girls have it listed on their Instagram. So um, just go check out their Instagram. I'll make sure to link their channels down below and you can get the information from that. Um, I, there's no way I'm probably necessarily gonna get a bingo because I kind of picked randomly on the board, but I just thought it'd be fun to pick some of the challenges and I went through and found some books that were already on my TBR that I just really wanted to get to. Um, also, I should have said, the readathon is gonna take place between March 16th, which is this coming Monday, and the 22nd, which is that following um, Sunday. So the first book I really wanna get to is Mogul by Joanna Shoup. Um, I love Joanna Shoup, you know I love her. I have pretty much enjoyed everything I've read but this is one of the few books of hers that I haven't got to yet and it is in her Knickerbocker series which is the series she wrote before the one she's currently writing and I've loved the first I think two in that series so I really want to continue this one fits the um like prompts or like bingo square for Gilded Age um outside of London because it takes place in New York um rags to riches um i think it's a hero so this one's kind of hard i'm assuming he is a i'm pretty sure he works for a newspaper he owns a newspaper he's like a because all of these books are about like a tycoon in new york during the gilded age so without knowing too much i'm pretty sure he's probably came from if not like nothing he probably came from pretty humble beginnings and then made himself into a self-made man so yeah i'm really excited to read this one i've loved all of them i love gilded age books so of course i had to include one on this tbr the next one is a little bit of an older title and that is when strangers marry by lisa Kleypas. again i love lisa Kleypas. i'm such a fan girl for her and this is one of the few of her older titles that I haven't read yet. I think I've read most of her newer books, but there are a few on her backlist that I've been kind of saving and haven't read because I don't want them to all be gone. But this is one I own that I've been meaning to get to. And um, this one really just covers the published before 2000s that I know of. Some of these I don't know too much about so I it could be fill another square and another prompt, but I just don't know. So. This one was originally published, I believe, in like 1992, and then it was recovered and re um, kind of put out and published, I think around 2000. So regardless, it definitely covers before 2000 prompt, and I'm really excited to get to this. Um, I don't know much other than I'm pretty sure it has to do with the marriage of convenience, which now that I'm thinking about it is probably another prompt on there. So it covers that one as well. But honestly, I'm just excited to read another Lisa Kleypas book. Okay, so the next one, if you watched my video on some of the books that I got from my grandma, this is one of them, which was The Wolf and the Dove by Kathleen Woodowis. And this is one that's like top of my TBR to get to from some of those books. And I thought this was a great opportunity to try and read it. I'm not gonna lie, I can't promise I'll finish it this week because it is a pretty dense book and the words are very tiny in here. So it might take me some time to get through this and I looked and I couldn't find it on audio. Um, so I don't think there is one for it because it's an older book, um, which would have been helpful. But um, this one covers um, pre-2000 medieval and a standalone because I don't believe this is in a series or anything. Obviously, it was published before 2000. I'm not sure on the exact date, but I think it's from the 70s or 80s. And it's a medieval romance, which is why I picked this one out of all of them, because I'm just really intrigued by a medieval romance, because I'm pretty sure I haven't read one before. So I hope to get to this one, and I will report back my thoughts. Okay, the next one is The Rogue You Know by Shanna Galen. I read the first book in this series back a couple of months ago and really enjoyed it. Um, basically a lot of this series takes or has to do with 
um, kind of like the underbelly of London and some of the heroes in the books like in the first one or no in the first one it was our heroine who came from kind of rough beginnings and perhaps did some criminal things um, and then kind of uh, married into kind of the aristocracy. This one I think is the opposite. Um, I'm pretty sure our hero is, yeah, it says he spent his life in London's dark underworld and then he meets our heroine who has been very, very protected and just kind of wants to get out of that world. So I'm guessing maybe it's somewhere in the middle. So for this one, um, it covers, let's see, after 2000, because it was just came out a few years ago, rags to riches for the hero. And then um, I think it might be, Oh no, that's the next one. So yeah, there's just those two. Um, but I was just really intrigued by the first one. I really enjoyed it. So I kind of wanted to continue with the series and it was um, a really fun read. Plus I really like this cover. There's like fireworks in the background, which is cool. Last one I want to read is actually one that I have on my Kindle and is part of Kindle Unlimited if you're interested. I also really wanted to try and pick one from Kindle Unlimited to just, you know, kind of spread the love out. And it is called um, The Scoundrel Score by Mara Shaw. This one kept popping up on my Instagram. I followed the author there and um I just it sounded so intriguing um and honestly it sounded like a plot right up my alley so I don't know too much about it but I know that I think it has to do with like kind of like a wallflower heroine and our hero I'm pretty sure was the um kind of like illegitimate son of like either a duke or a lord or something but because of that, he did not grow up with any of the like sparkle or the money. And so he's made himself, again, a self-made man. I think we see a theme that Ashley has things that she likes in her historical romances. Um, so I believe now he is a wealthy man, but he obviously he started off and kind of made something of himself. This one also um, has a marriage of convenience, I'm fairly certain in it. Um, and then a wallflower heroine, if I didn't say that. I think in it, um, our heroine's supposed to be very kind of gentle and kind of just sweet. And I like that because a lot of times that's not the actual person, that's just how she comes across. And I think those are interesting to me. Um, I don't always want to read about a wallflower heroine. I like, you know, different kinds of heroin, heroines, but to me, the ones that are quiet and kind of demure, once you get to know them, they're like fierce. And I really enjoy that kind of the flip side of things. Um, not judging a book by its covers. All right. So those are the five books that I'm hoping to get to as part of the historical romance readathon. Again, I probably won't fill out a bingo like line maybe I will but I kind of picked from all over so I'm not sure if that's gonna happen really I just thought it'd be fun to kind of do some of the prompts and get some historical romance read let me know if you're participating too I think it's a really fun readathon and thank you to the girls who created it because I think it's a really fun time if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to give it a like and subscribe and we'll see you next time bye